is happening, Magnus Sites. So, uh, looks like y'all want me to weigh in on what, what the further developments are with uh, the whole Michael B. Jordan thing. So the other day, uh, he got interviewed by a girl, and he said to her, like, when she started interviewing him, like, oh, you know, because she was talking about how they went way back. He was like, yeah, 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 the corny dude, right? Yeah. And she was like, no, no, you know, I used to make fun. We used to make fun of your na the name. And he was like, no, I heard you. I heard you or whatever. So, so, I mean, tons of videos erupted onto the Internet, including my own, where I gave my thoughts on it. But, apparently... There is a woman that came out and said that, um, I guess she's, people sent this to me like, yo, this is actually the woman who said it about him or whatever. So her name is Dominique the Diva. And it says here, let me see, the blogs only post half the BS. Dominique the Diva said she wasn't surprised that he would go to such great lengths because she always got the impression when in his presence that Jordan is a nice corny guy and I don't mean that as a slight first of all <laughs> I mean people could say that but that's corny has never been good corny in any culture that I've had a chance to mingle with with and meet and talk with has never thought that the term corny meant something good they may not have known what it meant we may have had to educate them on what corny meant. And once they found out, they knew it wasn't a good thing. Corny is not a good thing to be called. But she says she doesn't mean that as a slight. She said, we all know the nice corny guys treat you the best. Which is false. <laughs> which is false. Let me tell you. it's That's like the nice girls. There's a lot of quote-unquote nice girls out there that are straight villains. They are the ones where you don't see it coming. And there's some guys that are quote-unquote bad boys. They get in trouble with the law. They sling and rock. They do all this other stuff. But they actually will love a woman to the death. They will take a bullet for that woman. I met these guys. It's like, why are you trying to be so... Why are you getting so much damn trouble? He's such a good dude. What the hell is good? I mean, people think you a thug, but when it definitely comes to your woman and children, like, you're a family man. It's almost weird, this weird dichotomy or whatever. Anyway, so that's when Laurel, uh, who went to school with him at a 7th through 12th grade academy in Newark back in the day. He's from Newark. Okay. So if he's from New York, and she was talking about, yeah, you know, we all in the hood. You know, so we used to make fun for having them headshots. I didn't know if he was carrying them around or if he got them done. It was kind of like, look, guys, these are my, you know, headshots from, you know, acting. You know, I'm trying to do my thing. And then they made fun of him. Like, yo, you ain't going to do nothing. <clears throat> and now he's but an A-list actor and uh, a director now. Like, that's... <laughs> Uh, said in regards to the corny comment that he definitely gave that vibe to his classmates. At the time, he was trying to get his career off the ground as a young model and actor. She admitted they were always making uh, him the butt of the joke, uh, which sucks. Um, and it says here uh, uh, that... Any black man that dates white women is corny to me. I guess the PR relationship with Lori helped y'all forget, but I didn't. Now, I don't get that. You know what I mean? Usually that statement, a statement like that. I, actually, out of all the black women, I'm at, women that I've ever known, ever spoken to, I've never heard that before. Um... As y'all know, I date black women, white women, Asians, Latinas, and everything else in between. 
And, you know, I've gotten comments over the years. Oh, you hate your own people. You hate your own people. So, um, all you date is white women's. So. I don't know. I don't, whether these people have been following me since I was 18. That's when I started dating. Um, I, but I've, I've gotten different things and, you know, but I've never heard that you're corny if you date white women. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't, it makes you a better man to date a black woman. You can't date no other race on the planet but your own. On, or you're corny. Like, I, I don't, I mean, she says white women, particularly here. It just doesn't make no sense to me. I personally would like you to dive into more of it. I mean, what are you saying? Are white people corny? So if you black and you date white people, you're corny? I mean, would she say the same thing about black women that date white men? Would she say, you corny if you dating white men? Would she say, because uh, she can't be the only person on the planet that thinks like this, you know? A lot of times, if there's someone in the public eye that speaks about something, there are other people that feel the same, you know? Even on the internet, someone that's not even the public eye, you find some person with one follower on Twitter saying one thing, then you know there are other people that may think the same way. So I understand if you're if you're Asian and you date someone white, are you corny? You know, um, if you're native and you date someone white, are you corny? Um, you know, if you're white and you date someone white, are you corny? You know, I, I don't, you know, get with that. I don't know how that translates. Because corny is a particular, I guess you could say, um, it's a particular behavior. You know, it's, for those of you that don't, don't know what corny means, it's a, it's a way of saying someone's lame or there's a square, you know, they're the, they're the weirdo or the outcast. You know what I mean? Um, so, of course, I don't believe that's true. I mean, you can be corny and date out, you could be, you could be, <laughs> let me tell you, I've seen this couple before. I ain't going to even say who it is in particular because me and my boy, there's this one girl that we know that would be considered cool. She's down. And her man is what you would say is corny. As a matter of fact, he's kind of, in certain ways, he was kind of like, a corny thug. You know what I mean? And several occasions we were like, she does not seem like she would date him because she seemed like she's into, you know, all these other type of street dudes that would be considered cool, but he's kind of got a corny vibe to him that people be talking about, but she dates him. So I understand, like, people considered him corny. But he's dating a black woman. Uh, so is he still corny? Or is he not? Can you be corny and date a black woman? Can you? I guess Michael B. Jordan would be considered still corny because, I mean, he dated Steve Harvey's daughter. And people were saying it was a publicity move. And I don't know whether it was or not. Let me tell you something. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. With 75% of the young people in the United States being polled these days, saying that they want to be influencers, social media influencers, influencers. So that's going to go from everywhere to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. That's going to cover the whole gamut. I'm telling all of you young people out there, it does not matter what you do. You are damned if you do, and you are damned if you don't, okay? Speaking for my community specifically, I know that if you date a black woman, if a black man dates a black woman, you will get made fun of if she's too dark. If she's too light, they will say that she's not dark enough. So you, you, and then if you date out of side of your race, 
then you are some type of race traitor. You hate yourself. You hate your people. I'm tell I've seen it. And I've been called some of it. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael B. Jordan, I don't know him. I don't know who he's dated. But say he has dated black women in the past. So then you get mad at him because maybe, I don't know, girlfriend number four, five, and six was white. Then you go back to dating black. Now, all of a sudden, you this race traitor that can't come back. Because she says, y'all forget, but I didn't. It's, it's, it's like you can't win. And there are people like this that will try to punish you and try to make you pay for it and harass you. And it's like, I mean, for me, they just got all get banned. You know what I mean? But when you're on a scale like this man right here, he's much more in the public eye than a small YouTuber like myself. So he's going to deal with it a whole lot more. He's got publicists and image consultants and a team that that is the brand of Michael B. Jordan. And there are things that he does and does not do to, you know, I mean, I know that being a high level um, echelon actor is is similar to politics. You got you can say and can't say certain things, or you can, but you're going to get put into a particular section. Okay, you know what I mean. You could be like Howard Stern and just be the guy that's always saying something, or you could be someone like that's kind of like like The Rock is rather squeaky clean. So is Michael B. Jordan. He's rather squeaky keep clean. Um, um, uh, Will Smith. Now, hasn't he always dated black women? I don't think I've ever seen him with a white woman. But Will got clowned for not being hard and being corny. So to her, I guess Will Smith is cool. You know what I'm saying? This, this, you know, corny is a specific behavior. So this is her definition. This is her definition of what corny is. And I'm telling y'all. Don't let it get y'all out of whack. Don't let it get y'all out of whack because this is not how most people think. Don't let it get y'all out of whack. I'm going to tell you, if 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 they're, if they're level-headed, most people that are level-headed, to me, I don't know whether it is or isn't, but to me it sounds like some type of uh, resentment. Maybe she was done dirty by somebody. I, I don't know. But... People are going to look at the character of the person that you are dating. If you are the, they are level-headed as possible. You know what I'm saying? I believe that they are going to look at the character of the person you are dating more than the race. Because I will tell you this. Any day, all day. If I have children, even if I was Afrocentric, Super Afrocentric, like, you know, just, like, I got a buddy, his parents Afrocentric, you know, they had the African masks on the wall, he knew a lot of black history that I didn't know, all this other type of stuff. So then they're very Afrocentric, and I know they want him to be able to black woman. But I bet you if I were to ask them, would you rather them be with a bad black woman or a good white woman, what would you choose? Now, one of their sons married a white woman. And I don't think it was really an issue. I think he would would have told me. Um, but I think most level-headed people are going to say, and that goes for anything down the line, your friends, you, you know, everybody that you deal with, they're going to want you to be a good person at the end of the day. And you remember even Steve Harvey was saying, he was, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Is such a good man. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was he was talking about how good of a guy he was. And all day, if I'm a father, I want my daughter with a good man. At the end of the day, I want my daughter with a good man. So I don't know. You know, um, I still get harassed for Leticia. Some people think she's a white girl. I mean, I guess you could say she's a white Latino. 
uh, I guess depending on what time of the year it is, <laughs> uh, you know, but she's Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans are not in particular a race. They are a tri-racial people. They are a mixture of the Taino natives, the African slaves that were brought there by the Spaniard settlers. So they're white, black, and native. So, you know what I mean? I, you know, people are like, you can't stop dating these white girls, can you? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, she, she blacker than a whole lot of black folk I know. This chick always got a barbecue to go to in the summer. I call her Hattie Mae Jackson because she literally, if trust me, if you live with us, she behaves just like an, uh, I would say, a 65-year-old black woman. Sex for that? Never mind. I was going to say something. <laughs> Except for, I, <laughs> she'd be mad at me if I said that. Um, she, I'm telling you, Hattie Mae Jackson, if you just called her and spoke to her on the phone, you'd believe she was a black woman all day long. I'm telling you, she, you know. Uh, but, so anyway, um, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Don't even worry about, you know, people calling you. Because I already know, look, a lot of young black men follow me. A lot of y'all come up to me when I'm out. You write me, you talk to me. Listen, be a black nerd, a black geek, all you want. Date who you want. Um, date who you get along with, who's going to love you, treat you right, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? All the textbook stuff you always hear. You know, you know when I hear about people uh, saying, you know, um, to stay with your own race or people are like, uh, well, I prefer to date my own. Most people date their own. Most people date their own race. That's how most people are. So people never have to worry about that. No matter what percentage is dating out. Most black men date black women. Most white men date white women. And so on and so forth. That's how it is. It wasn't until I was in my 20s that I dated different women racially because I ended up becoming a waiter <laughs> at a restaurant that had several different types of women. And I, it was it, it was different for me because here are my first three jobs, right? <laughs> Here are my first three jobs near the hood. I was a paper boy. <laughs> then I worked at McDonald's. Then I worked at Wendy's. All in the hood. So who was I around all day? Black men and black women. All the time. So who did I date? Black women. <laughs> then when I got to this restaurant, which was like a few towns over, I was dating. I mean, I was working with Latinas. I was working with white girls. I was working with Asian girls and I was working with black girls. And it was, I was kind of like in this position where I got to know different, I really was in close quarters to where you really got to know these different races. And there was just one white girl that was always, I don't know, she was always talking about hanging out. And she would always say, if you're okay with, you know, hanging out with a white girl. And it got to the point that one day I said, yo, why do you keep saying that? She was like, well, I don't know if you like white girls. I'm like, it's nothing wrong with white girls. And she was like, have you ever gone on a date with a white girl? I'm like, no, nah, I haven't actually. So she's basically putting it out there that she wanted to get to know me. So we went out, we went to Dave and Buster's and had a good night talking. And we ended up being together for a few months. You know what I mean? Broke it off. And at that point, it was kind of like, oh, so now then... Then it was kind of like, and she, and she was like, she was white. She 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 wasn't a white girl that like, uh, what you would consider like you know a lot of black dudes be like you know a black girl a white girl that acts black. She wasn't like she wasn't a, a down ass white girl. She was a white chick. She had you know she had stereotypical stuff like she had blonde hair and she was. Tall, thin, model-esque from a, ma a family with money and, you know what I mean? Like, you know, went to a private school. Like, all that stuff 
it, it, all that stereotypical stuff is what she was. And oh, and the family was racist. The whole thing that you hear about, like the whole thing. And of course, they you know once they heard about me, they was asking questions, and she was hiding it, and it, it was all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but then it was kind of like, oh, you know, in my head, I was like, you know, okay. And I always knew how to, to look. I grew up with Puerto Ricans, but it wasn't a lot around me. So, you know, I knew how to talk to black girls, Hispanics. I would say Puerto Ricans because Puerto Ricans who I grew up with, Mexicans came later when when, when I was growing up more into the area later. And uh, white girls. So then it was like three different types for me to date. You didn't really get heat for dating Puerto Rican girls in my area. You did. Sometimes they might mess with you. Like my one boy, he went to homecoming with a Puerto Rican chick. And this one black girl that he liked, that he didn't ask to go because she was acting funny at one point. She said in class, yo, y'all, such and such going to, he going to homecoming with Puerto Rico. You see what I'm saying? Like, it kind of bothered her that he was going with the Puerto Rican chick. Even uh, Leticia told me, Scarlo said she used to get called Puerto Rico in high school by the black kids. So, um, damn, I forgot where I was going at this point. Yeah, so anyway, I knew how to talk to all three at that point. And then I also worked with at Asians and um, uh, Middle Easterners. I, was, I, I learned to talk to so many and I'm just start, started to get the little pieces and touches the different cultures. And to me, it was cool, you know, and I was just like, you know, if, if, if a girl is my type, my type is a specific type of woman. It's the way she carries herself, the way she dresses, the way she behaves, the way she speaks, the way she treats her man. And that type of woman exists in several different races and cultures. So for me, it, it, it's whoever I happen to run into. That's how it worked. That's how I ran into her. My boy told me to come through because his wife's sisters was down to visit. I had met them before, and I was like, okay, I'm coming through. I did not expect to get with her, okay? She was there. She was going through something, looking all sad and stressed out. And I was stressed out, and we linked up, and we ended up being each other's medicine, so to speak. And we ended up dating a few months later, and almost five years later, here we are. <sighs> Sorry. A little stress headache. So, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I've been to the club and seen dudes. Like, I saw this one black dude one time. It was so funny. Like, I know he was joking, but I feel like he wasn't joking at the same time. But just saying, to me, it was funny. I, like, I personally don't care what you prefer. As long as you don't hate your own people or hate your own skin. You got what I'm saying? So, um, you'll meet a lot of different races, but sometimes, like, like you'll find out there's certain white dudes who just love black women. There's just something about black women that they're drawn to. Um, my cousin's dad was like, that. he just loved black women. He's always loved black women. He was cool, but he wasn't the white dude that was that was always trying to be black. He just meshed with us like that. And he was always cool. But then, the, you know, there's the people that have a problem with their own people. That's what I don't like. Every race and culture has got their problems and their strengths. But don't hate your own people. Like, I don't like when people are like that. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, but he came up in the club and he was like, he was like, yo, where the white girls at? And I was like, there's a few of them over there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know he meant it, but I know he was being funny about it too. You know, so, I mean, I, I don't care who you date. Just, just, just date a good person. Be a good person. Date someone you get along with. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I've ranted long enough. Excuse me. If there's anything I missed, talk about it in the comments section. <sighs> T.
10 million subscribers. Woo!